Hi everyone, it's Melissa. Today's video, I am downstairs, as you can see. Um, it was a little hot up there, and well, here's the thing. Because of my breast cancer, I'm going through menopause at age 68. So, it is a challenge, but it is what it is. Um, so, today I'm going to talk about, well, first I've got to talk about why I'm wearing a turtleneck again. I have messed up my neck. I've upped my products. That's not the problem. But what I did was I used the Nioxin in the shower. I usually stick my head under the faucet and use it upside down so it doesn't irritate me. But I used it in the shower this morning. And it's got like a menthol to it. And it got on my neck and it tore it all to pieces. Not tore it all to pieces, but it is red and angry looking. I've got steroid creams on it to settle it down. and. You know, we'll give it a rest for a few days, but I've got to remember not to ever use that nioxin in the shower. So, get ready to go to the store, and I thought, well, there, it's very noticeable in person. So I thought I bet better go ahead and cover it up. Okay, so today I'm going to talk about uh, under eye powders, and I've got a little bit of laryngitis going too, or a little bit of uh, allergies. So it's affecting my voice, but I'll get through it. Uh, so I'm gonna talk about under eye powders. Now, I have sort of been against powders because back, I guess when I was about in my 30s, I used Merle Norman powder, and I remember, and my skin looked a lot better then, and I remember thinking, powder, it just looks terrible on me. It makes my skin look dry, it makes it look cracked, it makes it look, um, just bad, you know, it makes it look worse than if I didn't wear it. So I kind of got, you know, set against powders then. But then I noticed, you know, on YouTube, everybody was using setting powders, powders and talking about how they needed to use setting powders and how it really helped to set things underneath there and you didn't have things transfer. And I have a real problem with that. I think my, my eyes are, are deep set maybe. And so it just, like my mascara gets under there, the eyeliner gets under there, eyeshadow gets under there, and there's just very few things, like there's like one concealer I can wear and one mascara that I can wear that won't smear. So I thought I wanna try it. So what I did was I made a short several weeks ago on YouTube and I said, everybody tell me what your favorite uh, under eye setting powder is and how you prefer to apply it. And most of you all said a powder, uh, a, so most of you all said a brush, so that's the cyst, that's what I use. I had two eyeshadow brushes that were the same, and so I kept them clean uh, up when I tried each one. So I, I wrote down everything that you all voted for, and then I went through, I gave them each a point, when you, the ones that y'all mentioned, and when I got through, I went through and I got together all the ones that were the top voters. I got, the, got them down to six of the top ones that people liked the most. And I bought those six. And then I tried them. I would put one on each eye and then the second day, two more. And then the third day, two more. So I did all six. And I wanted to see how they applied, if they made wrinkles on my skin or underneath my eyes how well it held my makeup and uh, just overall how good it looked. And I was very surprised, very surprised at the results. And I will tell the results at the end, but I think you will be able to see. These were six really good under eye setting powders. They have really improved, they're finely milled, they uh, just do such a good job of setting without looking cakey. Um, I was just very impressed. I text, tested out, these were the six that were the top winners. Charlotte Tilbury, It Cosmetics, Elf, Charlotte, uh, Pat McGrath, uh, Laura Mercier, and Bare Minerals Mineral Veil. Vale. So those are the ones I tested. So, uh, I tell you, two of them did not perform quite as well, but they were still great. But the top four, I could not even tell a difference. I will, on my final thoughts, I'll tell you more about it. But I absolutely could not see any difference. I will use all six of these for the rest of my life. I never have to buy another under eye setting powder again. Um, 
I was very impressed. I'm very appreciative for y'all telling me about it. And it's just a great discovery. I was entirely wrong. Um, it, these powders, I don't know about others, but these six powders, especially the top four, are great and do not get in lines and wrinkles and they keep the makeup it you know they keep the makeup where it's supposed to be now the bottom two were, were good but they didn't hold the makeup as long uh, the, the makeup started fading on me within a few hours the eyeshadow that I had applied underneath my bottom lashes faded away it didn't hold it as well those two didn't so uh, other than that, they were all really good and none of them got in lines and wrinkles. And you will see in my video, I scrunch my eyes, to, you know, I scrunch them all up and then let them go like that. And scrunch them all up and let them go like that. I use the same concealer. I use this brightening concealer because it always makes things smear on me and it, it's light. So you could kind of see better if it got, if the powder got in lines and wrinkles. And uh, I wanted it all to be the same. So that's what I did. All right, I am filming on my phone and Doug called, so I forgot where I left off. I think I was talking about how good they were, you know, and how good, oh yeah, the concealers and you know, how, how this always smeared on me, but it kept it at bay. I guess that is it. So uh, I will go ahead and get started on it then. First up is Pat McGrath Blurry Under Eye Powder versus Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Setting Powder. That is a mouthful. Okay, so I'm putting it on your right, my left eye. More fingerprints on the Charlotte Tilbury. These reflecting ones, uh, you know, show all the fingerprints. Boy, that's a pretty powder, pretty color. That's in the color Fair, and the Pat McGrath was in the color Light. Just putting it down on that side. There they are. I'm gonna really, on all these, squeeze my eyes and then go natural. And squeeze and go natural so you can see if it gets in the wrinkles under your eyes or not. And there it is after I got ready for the day. Squeezing again. And I'm also looking to see how well it wears by the end of the day, all of these powders. Both of these, I think, are beautiful. I don't see, actually, a lot of difference in either one of them. Even when I scrunch up my eyes and then go, you know, back natural again, that's later on that night. I had to go someplace, but this was before I touched up my makeup, and you can see it lasted all day long. Sorry about that, uh, my bangs get in my eyes, that's annoying, I know, but I basically just want you to see how well it lasted, both of them about the same, and the same amount of, you know, getting in wrinkles underneath your eyes. Next, we got Laura Mercier and It Cosmetics. The Laura Mercier is in the color Translucent. And the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores and it's in the color Translucent. Okay, there I am scrunching up my eyes again, up very close. You can just see how it shows everything. Even a little tiny hair from a brush looks big on there. I didn't even realize it was on there. And then that's what it looks like after I get all my makeup on, both of them. I think they're both pretty. And I think they're both as pretty as the previous two. 
That is, at the end of the day, they both wore real well. Neither one of them got into my wrinkles. I thought I was pleased with both of these, just like I was the two previous ones. Okay, next we got F HD Powder and Mineral, Bare Minerals Mineral Veil. And they're both kind of just a translucent color. Then Mineral Veil, it's an old standard. I've worn it many a time. Now I will say these two did not last as well as the previous four. I didn't think they got in lines and wrinkles, but at the end of the day, I actually didn't film it because it was kind of a bad day. <laughs> and I forgot to and I ended up crying and stuff. It's just one of those days. But by several hours, it had, my eyeshadow had faded. There's my eyeshadow complete. Underneath, it had faded away and cut, kind of gotten um, transferred. So it did not do as well, but it was still adequate. It did not get in lines and wrinkles, as you can tell, when I do my, my skin just regular and not, you know, scrunch up my eyes. See, it it doesn't, it doesn't scrunch up my eyes, but these two did transfer the worst of all of them and fade away. So these are my final thoughts. These four, the Charlotte Tilbury, the It Cosmetics, the Pat McGrath, and the uh, Laura Mercier, I thought they could be interchangeable. I thought they were excellent. I will use all four of them. I will just grab the first one that I reach for and be perfectly happy. Uh, the e.l.f. and the Bare Minerals Mineral Veil, while it was good, it did not make the eyeshadow that I had on that day last more than a couple of hours. Um, and I tried it on different eyeshadows, those two, and it just didn't quite make it last as long, but it certainly did not get in lines and wrinkles. And it gave a beautiful look, I thought, and was perfectly happy with them, except that these are so much better. So the ones that y'all are recommending, just fantastic. Thank you all so much. I have totally changed my mind. I'm excited now to be able to branch out into other mascaras, other eyeshadows, other concealers, because I know that they will be kept in place because of these setting powders, especially these four. I just really, really appreciate it. I am so glad I did this experiment. I learned so much and I'm so grateful to all of you all for responding and telling me the ones that you liked because it really made a difference. I mean, sure, it's not rocket science. It's setting powders under your eyes, but you know, little things like that. Uh, when you're dealing with makeup and you go to all the trouble to put it on and then within an hour it's smeared or faded away, little things like that can make a difference. And when you share things like that, it's just, I don't know, it, it, it's nice. It's nice and it makes me learn something new. So thank you for sharing and uh, y'all just gave some excellent, excellent under eye setting powders. So thank you for that. Um, and thank you for watching this. I appreciate it. And I like filming on the, I hope if this turned out okay and y'all can see me just fine, I like filming on my phone. I don't have to get the camera out. Uh, I'm always afraid I'm gonna drop the camera. It's my, it, it's my son's camera and he's letting me borrow it. And I, I don't know, I just feel more confident on the phone, uh, using the phone. But so if y'all can see me, okay, I might do more of this, except when I have to do real close up work, I can always go upstairs. But I like that I don't have to use any other lights. This is just the light in my living room. And um, so it just feels a little more casual and a little more relaxed. And I do like that. 
So uh, thanks again. Um, I appreciate it. I hope you all have a wonderful uh, weekend coming up. Gosh, it's already the weekend, and I'll talk to y'all in a couple of days. I really appreciate this so much, so take care, and talk to you soon. Bye-bye.